cat owners make better romantic partners than dog owners. Today I'm gonna ruffle some feathers and give you five reasons why cat people make better partners than dog people. First, as we all know, dogs love unconditionally. And I get it, I mean, who doesn't wanna be loved unconditionally? Whereas with cats, you must earn their love and their trust. It's not freely given. And even if a cat loves you or you're your cat's person, you still have to respect that cat's boundaries. Translation, dog owners can be susceptible to expecting love from their partner no matter what they do. They are expecting that unconditional love that their dog gives them. Now, obviously there is a healthy balance of love in a relationship. However, this type of expectancy or unconditional giving of love could be really unhealthy in some form of an abusive relationship. Meanwhile, cat owners understand and respect their partner's boundaries and limitations more. They know when to give their partner space and typically don't have the need to berate them about it. And that's because they most likely understand. They probably need that space and time for themselves. It's an understanding that even if your partner needs some separation or some alone time, that it's not necessarily a reflection of how your relationship is going. The bottom line for this one is that cat owners tend to respect boundaries better than dog owners. Next, we're going to look at one of the most obvious differences of cats and dogs. Cats are often more independent and less demanding of attention than dogs are. This means that cat owners may be more likely to have additional time to dedicate to their partners without feeling guilty about leaving their pet alone. Cat owners don't need to worry about not being able to go on a, a weekend getaway or a week-long vacation or whatever it may be because they don't need to run home every X amount of hours to let the animal out to use the bathroom. Cats can take care of themselves for a few days. This means that Cat owners can stay at events as long as they want, and typically, because some cats are a little psycho, don't have to worry about coming home to whatever destruction that dogs are more likely going to do. And disclaimer, okay, I know, some cats are super freaking destructive and some dogs are not at all, okay? I get it. This is just an overall consensus. Research shows that cats can reduce stress and improve all around mood. While on the flip side, even if we have love for our dogs and they do boost our mood, they tend to be much more high maintenance and chaotic. This means that cat owners may be better equipped to handle relationship conflicts and also to keep their emotions in check when it comes to their relationships. The cat owner's base point is more of a calm and collected energy rather than a loud and chaotic energy. Have you ever noticed that 99% of cat owners also love and accept dogs, while the majority of dog owners are extremely judgmental and super anti-cat. This goes to show that cat owners tend to be more accepting and open-minded than dog owners. At the end of the day, studies show that couples who own pets together, whether it's cats, dogs, goats, fish, donkeys, whatever it is, have lower blood pressure and tend to interact with each other more than couples who don't own a pet together. Whether you own a cat, a dog, or another exotic animal or anything along those lines, these creatures are not just animals, but they are part of our family. I personally live with two dogs and three cats, and while they all drive me crazy at different times, I can't deny that I love and care about each one of them. So, did I sway you? Mm -hmm.